there YouTube, HTC Junkie 16 here with you today, and today I have a review for you of the Rattec ice cream. This is designed for severe abrasion and scratch removal. I'm going to talk about what it comes with, my thoughts, does it work, and we'll go from there. So just a quick note about what Rattec offers. They don't just offer this cleaning formula, scratch remover. They offer cases, iPod gear, iPhone gear, notebook gear, Bluetooth, data storage gear, all the good stuff. Go check them out. Their website is radtech.com. It will be the first link in the description as well as it should also be somewhere throughout this video. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let me show you what, when you do purchase the ice cream, what it does come with. And I'll talk about some tips on application, and then we'll go from there, as I said before. So first you get ice cream A. It's compound A. This is designed for acrylic and polycarbonate refinishing formula, as well as bright metal polish. And then you also get ice cream B. For this process, I used ice cream A, but ice cream B is for acrylic finishing polish. This is not my iPod Touch, this is my friend's iPod Touch, and it was pretty beat up, so I thought maybe I would try this ice cream on this since my iPhone is in pristine condition, except for a few hairline scratches here and there. So when you do get this, it also comes rolled up with this Norton Refinishing Pad. It's a soft touch sanding sponge. There's two sides, don't use this side, use this side. You also get one, you get two Optex cloths. This one is wet because I was. This is what I use for the application, and then I just washed it off. Let's put that aside. So I didn't post my application video of this on how to install this. I just found it. I just figured that it might be boring for you guys to watch me put on this cream, if you will. So I'll just talk about how I installed it and some tips and tricks, if you will. So what you got to do is you got to put a pea-sized amount of your desired one. Um, for Chrome on the iPod Nanos, the old Nanos, for Chrome finishing, always use Ice Cream A for bright metal polish, aka Chrome. You should use Ice Cream A. And what you do, you put a pea-sized amount on the um, back, the chrome, you take one of the two q-tips they provide and you rub it around in some circular motions just to spread it around. Then you fold your Optex cloth in three and fold it three times. So you fold it once, twice. And I find that folding it three times is a bit small so I folded it only two times and I find that find that, that was okay you rub it in circular motions back and forth and circular motions around make sure that you do go around to the chrome at the sides because you don't just want those to be scuffed up and this to be looking like brand new when the process is done so make sure that you go all over the chrome areas try and avoid getting the ice cream in the ports don't get it in crevices or anything make sure that it's away from the port especially the headphone jack and the port on the bottom. Also, as I said, it does come with those two Q-tips. So when you're done that, you're rubbing it around. Continue to rub it until the ice cream has evaporated. When that when that evaporation happens, when it has evaporated, you can go ahead and take your sponge, sanding sponge, you put your iPod down, chrome facing down, and you just rub it. I don't do it in circular motions. I just went like this, back and forth, and then this is how it turned out. And a tip that I have is if you don't see the scratches coming out right away, don't don't lose hope. That's what I'm trying to say. You have, I did this about four times. I repeated that process I just explained to you right now about four times before I could start start getting the bigger scratches out. Each time I did it, the small minor ones were starting to come out and then about the fourth or fifth time I did it, it, it went, all of them, most of them were vanished, if you will. Have vanished. So, 
does this product work yes it does it really does work at first I didn't really think it would work I thought maybe just some of the minor scratches to hide them but this really did hide almost all of my scratches as you can see it gives this nice kind of brushed aluminum look which looks really nice of course I will be um, providing you with before and after pictures I'm not going to edit them at all. Probably I'm just going to crop them and put them together right before and after. Or I might just put them separately. But I might have to crop them, but I will not edit any of the photos. I will put them on the back of this video or sometime throughout this video. So, as you can see, this really does work. I can bring this up close. What's really cool is that it does give like, a brushed aluminum look. So, if you're interested, the website is radtech.com. So if your iPod has been abused, scratched really badly, and you want to get it fixed, this is a really good option for you without buying a new iPod. If the reason why is because it's been scratched up. Or if you want to sell your iPod for any reason, this is a really good option, a channel you should take in order to make your iPod look brand new. And if you're interested, the website is radtech.com thanks for watching and more reviews of a review of the radtech screensavers will be up very soon thanks for watching